Hi, I'm super happy to announce that we're releasing the version 1.0 of Infection. The solver does one thing. It grows and it moves density. That may not sound as much, but here's a short presentation of what it's capable of. Use the many built-in microsolvers to grow your infection. Use a distant base growth, reaction diffusion, curve-based, or a density-based. Combine different microsolvers to simply art direct your simulation. Or use forces to add vector density. Infection works with the built-in static objects and can even handle deforming objects. Use the microsolvers to build various structures. And both microsolvers as well as collisions works well in both 2D and 3D. Infection supports all regular pop microsolvers that uses velocity or force. Remember to disable pretest win. You can simply use an animated object as an infector, and then use other microsolvers to spread the infection. Use a tag dot to gain animation control plus salt. and use the animation tools to animate instanced objects. Infection is also built to be used as a source for other solvers, such as pyro or pop, using the velocity and the densities generated by the solver. Simply use the tag system to get the relevant particles. When you're done with your simulation, you can use the particle as is, or you can convert them to a VDB, and you can even export them as an animated UV map to be used directly in shading. 